Comms planning is all about making sure that the media environment helps to communicate the creative idea. I'm gonna talk you through the theory behind comms planning with three examples from Nike, Tylenol, and Cole Hunt. And then the three questions you should ask on your brand to ensure that you're doing comms planning properly. My name is Julian Cole, a strategy trainer at the Planning Dirty Academy and a consultant to leading brands like Facebook, Uber, Apple, and Disney. On this channel, I wanna help you master the fundamentals of strategy. If we look at how advertising works from the associative network theory, it suggests that we have associations in our head and everything connects with those associations. So when we see something advertised in Vogue magazine, we associate it with high fashion and being expensive. Whereas if we see a product advertised on shopping TV, our associations might be cheap or on special. We create these associations with the media channels that are used and the moments when they're advertised. Comms planning is harnessing these associations and giving your brand a competitive advantage by the media channels it chooses. Let's look at three examples to bring this idea to life. The first example is for Nike. In an iconic campaign you're probably aware of, find your greatness. Nike lost the chance to be the official sportswear sponsor of the 2012 Summer Olympics to their biggest competitor, Adidas. This was one of the biggest sporting moments of the year and Nike wasn't going to be able to be a part of it. However, Nike didn't let this stop them. They realized that during the Olympics, the world was bombarded with messages of greatness and what it looked like, telling the stories of these gifted few professional athletes. It was an unattainable version of greatness that everyday athletes would never achieve. What Nike knew was that greatness was not reserved for the rare few who make it onto the podium, but greatness exists in everyone. Nike founder Bill Bauman famously said, if you've got a body, you're an athlete. And the extension of this piece is that if you're an athlete, you can achieve greatness opposite of where we think greatness lies. Usually we think of greatness as a stadium surrounded by cheering fans like we see on the TV at the Olympics. Instead, we open on the exact opposite, a quiet rural road with no one else around. The ad showed us a different version of greatness. From a comms planning perspective, this was the perfect moment. When the world was screaming about greatness being achieved only in Olympics, Nike showed a different version. Another great example of this is the partnership between Tylenol and GoFundMe. Tylenol's message is care without limits. The statistic that drove this was that nearly 60% of caregivers report facing financial strain. So GoFundMe, a platform designed to help people out with a financial burden, became the perfect partner for Tylenol. It helped them show they could really help create care with no limits by helping to remove the financial limits of the GoFundMe campaigns. Thirdly, Cole Haan, a woman's shoe brand in New York, wanted to promote their new high heels, which had Nike Air technology in it. They realized that a woman's shoe were often a thing that stopped them from going out in New York. It would end the night prematurely. So Cole Hahn came up with the campaign called Don't Go Home. It helped promote the new shoes. They advertised in environments where women were in that hour when they were thinking about going home early. So they advertised on roller shutters, food trucks, and with dancing drag queens in downtown at midnight. All of these environments help to communicate the idea that these shoes could help you stay out for longer. So when you're thinking about your idea and how it can come to life through media, here are three questions you can ask. Once you know the idea, ask what are the media environments or places where people usually associate with this idea? So for the Tylenol example, the question would have been, what are the media environments where care has limitations? GoFundMe is all about financial limitations and has a number of caregivers there. So you can see the link that they have made here. The second question to ask is what are the moments throughout the year when this message will really resonate? With the Nike example, the question would have been, when throughout the year are people thinking about greatness of athletes? Finally, you wanna see if you can surround your moment of truth for the idea. So for our example of Cole Hahn, 
we can see that the moment of truth is when people need to go home. They covered the moment at night when people are thinking about going home. Hopefully that helps you understand what is communications planning and how you can use it for your brand. If you took any value out of this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about strategy.